We saw this happen in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series at Michigan last year. If they don't get going, they won't make it. It's going to be real borderline for this back. If you're not up to speed here pretty good, it's going to be borderline. But, Darrell, what I see, I see nine drivers that's pretty lined up back there. If they can complete a lap, if they can get a lap started, they're going to be in great shape. I tell you, the guy, I mean, Truex jumped out there. He's out there all by himself, way up here. You see him going down the back right now. But the drivers in the back must cross the start finish line before that clock gets to zero. Let me tell or you. their lap will not count. And that's going to be close. We're at 23, 22, 20. Uh, that's going to be close for some of them to make it. Being well, the rabbit, Martin Truex may have the right strategy. We're down to 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, nine, it's going to be close eight, eight, at the back. Seven, six, five, five four, three, two. Time has expired. They made it. So Everybody this will be the money lap. This will count. Well, I think if you watch that group right there, led by Casey Kane in the five, that's probably where the pole sitter for the Daytona 500 is going to come oh, from. Oh, that, that group's in the catbird seat because they got three cars in front of them, and they're coming up on the back of them pretty quick. That group should put down the fast lap. As long as they don't start slicing and dicing through three and four. Uh, I think they got it. I think they know they're in the best spot right now. Just stay right there, draft up on the cars in front of you, and you're going to have a pretty quick time here, I would say. Just look how quick they're pulling up on those three drivers in front of them. But and, and it's really quite, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect the way they timed that out. Those guys did. Good job. Truex now, Earnhardt, Kane, Hamlin, Gordon. Gordon Johnson. How about that? <laughs> oh. Jeff Gordon. We'll <laughs> 24, baby. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome job, buddy. That is unbelievable. Man, that's awesome. That's so cool, guys. What's it like to get the pole in your last run at the Daytona 500? Well, you know, the team uh, at Hendrick Motorsports always puts so much effort into these restrictor plate races, and, and I mean every race, but, you know, so much pride in the engine shop and the bodies and the engineering that goes into these cars. And, uh, you know, this year with this qualifying format, uh, the driver finally gets to play a role. So with a fast race car and, you know, a lot of coordination between the spotter, Alan, uh, you know, and myself and our teammates, uh, that was pretty nerve wracking. Uh, I didn't think we were going to wait that long. I really wanted to go sooner than that. But uh, that just feels very gratifying, you know, just as a total team effort to be able to pull that off, to have a one-two for Hendrick Motorsports on the front row. And whew, that feels good. That's awesome.